So diamonds are back in the game, meaning that we have a chance of getting diamonds while scoping the casino out this week. And just to let you guys know, if you did not know, GTA Plus members have doubled the chance of getting diamonds while scoping out the casino. And I'm going to be showing you guys the best method in which we are going to be doing this, just in case you get something good and just in case you don't get something good. And how we're going to be rinsing and repeating this until we can actually get these diamonds, which I'm going to show you by the end of the video. I'm going to have some diamonds, all right? So we're going to go ahead and scope this out and we are going to have to probably murder somebody right now, I think, and go get their key card, which is going to gain us access to the hacking ability and the camera feed over there at the Diamond Casino. So right here, we're just going to go ahead and grab this. Now, at this time, we're not able to call Lester to get rid of the police, so we're just going to go ahead and fly around and or just stay on the top of the Diamond Casino until those three stars goes away. And then from there, we can just go ahead and make our way inside of the Diamond Casino, but not before we punch Philippe out. There we go. Every single time, we got to do that. That's why he's standing there for it, just to let you know. It's not to park cars. It's to punch in the face. All right, so now that we've made our way inside of the Diamond Casino, Lester's going to get a hold of you. He's going to tell you to pop open your phone, and we're going to have to do some hacking at this time. There's going to be some beeping, basically playing the game of hot and cold. The hotter you are, the faster the beeping, the not cold, the hot and cold. <laughs> not a lot of beeping. All right, so anyways, from here, once we get to that sweet spot, we just have to press right on the D-pad to get into that camera feed, which is going to be particularly slow to go through. So just keep pressing left or right to go through that camera feed. So right here, once again, it looks like we've got something good, which is gold. And I would just advise you guys right now, if you do end up getting gold, don't waste your money particularly looking for diamonds because what can happen here is you're going to end up spending a lot of money just trying to get diamonds. So what we're going to need to do since I didn't get diamonds is we're going to immediately inside of the casino, I'm going to call up Lester and I'm going to cancel hey the heist. What can I help you with? So down there, cancel it, confirm it. Yes, we're going to go ahead and confirm that real quick. Cancel that up. Okay, perfect. So now we're just going to go ahead and leave the diamond casino. All right, so now once we're outside, we're just going to fly back to the arcade, and it's going to give us a little bit of RP. All right, now that we're back at the arcade, check this out. We're just going to go right up to the board, and we're going to press right on the D-pad. It's going to ask us if we want to go ahead and buy it. So here's the exploit right here. We're going to go ahead and do this, and this is going to allow us to totally skip a scoping. So right there, we got something even worse than gold. We got cash, and I do not want cash, and I did not want gold. I'm going after diamonds here. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to go outside at this time, and once again, we are going to need to call up Lester and we're going to have to request to go ahead and cancel the Diamond Casino heist because what I'm actually going after here is the diamonds themselves. Although I would recommend highly, if you guys do end up getting gold, just stick with the gold. Gold is really good, okay? It's very profitable and it's a lot better than any of the other things that you can get, which is going to be cash or paintings. Totally stay away from cash and paintings. They're not worth as much as gold and or diamonds. So once again, we're just going to have to keep rinsing and repeating that process right there. And as you guys can see, I was finally able to go ahead and get some diamonds uh, after a few tries here. So at this time, all I'm going to need to do is just pick the setup or I would say the heist that I want to go ahead and do, whatever the options are down there. And I can continuously do this and get diamonds. Now, once again, if you guys have that GTA Plus, this method is going to guarantee you diamonds a lot easier. And if you guys do end up getting gold, I would just let you know, like, just stick with the gold because eventually you're going to be getting the diamonds. But what can happen is you're going to end up wasting money and time just trying to go after the diamonds themselves, especially if you don't have, like, GTA Plus, which I didn't have and it took me a few tries to get the diamonds. So anyways, from there, this is a for surefire way in which you guys can use right now this week to get like gold and or diamonds so if you enjoyed this video and it was helpful hit like button down below on the way out subscribe for new content so you guys don't miss out on daily gta 5 online videos until gta 6 gets here right but from there thanks all for watching and supporting the channel my name is gravesite i'm a green alien and i'm out of here so peace <laughs>